This video will show you how to uh, zoom in and out on sequences and uh, a couple other little related display options for sequences. So let's click on the new button and start up a new musical sequence. Let's choose some uh, song file and click open. And uh, this new musical sequence options dialog, let's just take the defaults, that's fine. And here's our new sequence. Now we can put some effects in here. Maybe this channel will fade up at the beginning of the song and then all of them will uh, uh, pop on for a short time and then they'll fade down for a little while. So there's our sequence and uh, let's go back to the select tool and you'll see the time scale here um, is up to here, it's a second into the song, and then two seconds and three seconds into the song. And if we play, you'll see that when it reaches here, about a second has passed, and so forth. So there you go. We can change this amount of time, though. We can make time shorter so that more fits on the screen, or we could make it larger so that let less fits on the screen. And you would probably want to make it smaller if you want to get a wide overview of your entire sequence, or as much of the sequence as you could. And you would probably want to make it larger if you want to do detail work on a particular little place, like right here I want to do something special and I want to make sure I'm doing it in exactly the right place. Then you might want to zoom out a bunch. Um, so you can also uh, modify the size of ro uh, channels as well by using these other zoom tools. So you could make them shorter so that you can fit more of them on your screen or larger so that you could see each one individually better. Another thing is uh, these channel buttons themselves. There are certain width. Now let's say that I click on this guy and I want him to be named um, uh, front bushes right side red because they're on the right there these lights are on the right side of my house uh, and they're on the front bushes and the color of these lights is red and while I'm here I'll change this color to red and click OK and now this button's name changes to front bushes right side red maybe I want to be able to see this a little better I can make these channel buttons a little wider and that might be a little easier to read now. Or if you want, you can make it shorter and uh, so that the channel buttons take up less room. Another thing is this, uh, this bar that I've been clicking and dragging this whole time. If I just click on it, it makes the channel buttons go away entirely. And I can get them back by clicking on them again. And they'll be the same width as they were the last time that I saw them. Now you can uh, control whether they're displayed or not also via this button here, which is the channel buttons color. I mean the, <laughs> excuse me, the uh, view channels button. And so that way if, you know, you might find it difficult to get them back via this bar once it's collapsed, well, you can just use that button there and they'll come back, they'll go away, they'll come back. Another thing is you can... Uh, control it via the view menu and that's the same thing or you can uh, set that behavior up by default from the display preferences menu there's view channel buttons by default you can turn that off or on and that way when you uh, open up a new sequence start a new sequence or open up an existing sequence they'll either be on or off to begin with and I think that's about it for zooming and related uh, settings. I hope this helps.